What's up everybody, welcome back. Every so often I'll type in a band name that's just stored somewhere in the back of my memory and I'll stumble across the fact that an old band has released new music. And that's what I found myself with here. City of Caterpillar. Decider. So, let's just dive in and see what happens. We've been brewing great beer for nearly two centuries. Yingling, the oldest brewery in America. Sounds slow already. See how fast it's gonna get. It sounds like cursive almost. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. I'm also getting an engine down type of sound. These vocals sound different. Sounds like this was produced by the uh, guy from Converge. I have no idea if I'm right or not. Let me know in the comments who recorded this. Just watching that other. I was just doing a reaction to that group Enjoy, which was just so much different than this. But musically, I noticed that it looks like the hooks for the Enjoy songs are much shorter, whereas like the hooks are twice, maybe even four times the length. So I guess when you're writing something like this, when you think you've gone far enough in terms of the little like melody hook that you're creating, you just save that and then extend it by another, you know, eight to uh, 12 measures. And then you've created a hook for a song like this. Which is the part I guess, I'm guessing when she stood up and started reading through the book, that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying the hook. I guess this band is known to have like long songs, but I'm pretty much ready to tap out right now. How much time has gone by? Two minutes? Alright, I'll give them another two minutes. When I say I'm ready to tap out, it's just because... I don't know, I'm just waiting for something to happen. It's a very instant gratification world. It's inescapable. But I feel the same way. That's why I like new wave music, because it's just constantly candy pop hooks and sounds that are uh, interesting that you never really hear that often. It's just like blast it over and over again over a drum beat. Yeah, this is dragging a little bit for me, but this is part of this group is the, the long build-up, so I'm going to uh, invest into the rest of this. Going for a um, sound garden. Black Hole Sun, Twisted Smile. By the way, I've done a reaction to that video. One of my better reactions, actually.
All right, it was worth it to stay tuned for that drum fill. If I wasn't doing a live reaction, I would rewind to hear that again. But are they gonna do the candy hook again at the end? Does this sound like it was recorded to a click track? What do you think? Write in the comments. <laughs> Kind of sounds like it was a click track, maybe, maybe not. All right, we got the end of this little video. The video was well done because it looks like it was like pretty low budget, but at the same time, it was like interesting to watch the whole time. So I enjoyed that. Um, I probably would have preferred, I don't know if this is the first thing they put out in a while, I think I saw in the description, let me look at this. First album in 20 years, Mystic Sisters. Out now on what label? Relapse Records. I'm not really that familiar with Relapse. What was the name of the label that had Dance Gavin Dance on it? Uh, Rise Records? Maybe I gotta watch something from Rise Records after this. All right, that was my reaction to City of Caterpillar Decider. If you enjoyed this reaction, stay tuned for more different stuff, and uh, hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.